Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. We are back in Meeple Station today. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, please go back and check them out. In the last episode, we started building our comms ray, and that is now done, so we'll be able to talk to some people out there in outer space. And we got an ominous warning that pirates might be uh, attacking our station soon, so we'll have to keep an eye out for those pesky pirates. We start this episode with Boysenberry petitioning to join our station, and I think we're going to go ahead and accept him. He's a refiner, and we need to up our refining amounts, so let's go ahead and bring him on board. So we will accept him, and let's get this going. So I did a little bit off screen, not too much. I just put some plants in the rooms, things like that. Uh, expanded a couple rooms, finished building these out, built this one over here. Just some boring stuff that you guys wouldn't want to see. Our hero, Toothbud, is doing well. He is continuing to mine all of our asteroids for us to make sure we have plenty of resources to go around. Down here, I also uh, expanded this a little bit, and we're going to be putting some additional storage right there so we can keep storing all the materials we are collecting. So let's go ahead and assign Boysenberry to a room here. He's already assigned as a refiner, so that's good. What else does he have? That's uh, about the really only skill he has. And we're going to assign him to this room here. And Boysenberry, you now have your very own room to sleep in. Must be a nice feeling. Again, we're going to kind of expand these so it's six on each wing. Uh, so we got plenty to keep expanding. We are currently researching advanced electronics, and that is almost done. And that is uh, kind of the next step on our objective. We need to research fuel processing and shuttle manufacturing to build our first ship so we can continue to explore outer space. Let's go ahead and open up the comms relay here. You can see these are the three people that have been trading with us. So we've got the Lokov Initiative, uh, and they seem to be sleeping on the couch there in their underwear and a shirt. So let's just, uh, who are they? Just keeping it real, man. We like a stress-free life. Okay, that uh, sounds nice. And then we also have the Pickle and Pickaxe Mining Company. Business is steady as usual. What would you like to discuss? Who are you guys? We're a deep space mining company. All right, so we'll keep an eye on them if we ever need to trade. You know, we can request a tribute. We can send tribute. We could also request more meeples to come and live at our station. So we might do that as we continue to expand. And then let's go ahead and talk to the vigorously applied sciences. Here's to hoping your connection to our server today no longer induces the wrath of Clang. Okay, that's, uh, that's interesting. Honestly, we're just the first group to get enough hydrogen together to get off planet. All right, so those are our three people. I was hoping we'd see the pirates listed in there, but uh, I guess they're not. So we will uh, keep on a solid watch out for any more pirates to head our way. So far, so good. Looks like Hacksaw finished building our storage, so we got a little extra storage there, and we'll continue to expand storage as we need it. Resources are doing well. Let's go ahead and check our stats. Plenty of oxygen, plenty of power. No poo building up. That's good, even though we can store about 300 liters of it. And uh, looks like we're doing good on everything else. So let's see what the uh, Pickle and Pickaxe Mining Company has to trade. We could sell, we're going to sell them a little bit of biomass. And then let's, we've got quite a few vegetables. We don't have any fish, so it might be prudent to build another fish tank here soon. Do, do, do. And otherwise, I think we will hold. Let's sell them a little graphene, because that's worth four right now. We got plenty of carbon. I'd like to get ourselves a thousand credits just to have that on standby. Uh, what else could we sell? Iron ore? No. That's pretty expensive. Silicon glass? We'll buy... No, glass is pretty cheap right now, too. All right, I think we'll hold off. So that was a good sale. Let's look at expanding and building another fish tank here. What would we need for another fish tank? 20 glass. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and buy one glass from Pickle and Pickaxe. Where is it at? Glass. All right, so 20 glass. We got plenty of glass to build that now. And I'm thinking we can expand... Hmm... We might do three back here, 
and then we'll have to delete those or maybe we put it maybe we put it over here maybe we put it over here so they can uh, they can watch the fish swimming in the fish tank so let's go ahead and so creates waste yeah let's go ahead and build one right well no I don't want to block that path either hmm well we could build here and keep those walls how do I want to do this let's let's go ahead and just build the three back there so graded hall one two or four excuse me we'll build the four there and then what we'll probably do is rip down one of these probably the fish tank or the well which one has the least resources associated with it fish tank five steel 20 glass the kitchen and some electronics well probably what we'll do is rip the kitchen down and then rebuild the kitchen in a new fish tank just so we can start producing more fish I mean we're doing fine on food we got 29 simple meals and two fine meals plus plenty of vegetables but I'd just like to have a few more fish in our stockpile as we continue to expand our station so let's go ahead and have the kitchen be torn down and you know what let's just go ahead and tear that down too since we got a new trader we'll buy some more glass off them you know we'll get some recycled glass from tearing that down and we might expand this actually one more set of squares too anything else I want to buy from them nope yeah we'll buy some f no we'll, we won't all right so let's go ahead and build and structure we should have done this first but that's okay build that one more time that way and then we will go ahead and put in a new fish tank right here and another one right oh he tore that down I did not think he would tear that down let's go ahead and cancel that and then we'll put in a new piece of haul right there did not think he would rip all that down but that is okay so let's put in our fish tank oops here and then we'll put another one right here got to leave enough path or enough space for them to to get through there so we'll have to build those I don't know why Toothbud is sleeping on the ground he has an assigned bedroom must be a bum and just doesn't want to walk all the way up uh, where is his bedroom doesn't want to walk all the way up here I guess or he's just so tuckered out he had to collapse right there but each their own I guess I have noticed uh, I know our last episode was fighting the poo oh what do we get altered carbon refine 100 graphene or diamonds all right nice another little achievement there we've had a lot of uh, poo building up on the ground our janitors are fighting that and taking care of as much as that as possible so we will uh, keep an eye on that as well research complete so we just finished advanced electronics let's see what all we unlock so we can do fuel processing we could do ore detection, laboratories, and breathing apparatus. Now, we already had breathing apparatus listed, 150. Um, to research twice as fast. All right, let's go ahead and get the laboratory. I know that's a long, long research cycle, but it'd be nice to get the faster laboratory. We need to make sure we're still researching and moving on our way towards our objectives. Hacksaw's out there finishing up that construction very nice so you can see the the little poop emojis all over their their heads there obviously they're getting concerned about that so maybe let's go ahead and request because i think we've got an available bedroom and we could build another one here very quickly and actually let's go ahead and plan at least the floor out for that so we'll do a three by three here perfect all right and that will be the next bedroom. So let's go ahead and request some workers from Pickle and Pickaxe. Why not? Oh, we got someone landing. We'll see what they have. And then we'll request some workers. Trade. Let's go ahead and we'll sell them some graphene. Again, we're trying to get over 1,000. And this just might do it. We're going to be pretty close. 991. Let's sell. We'll sell a little bit of silicone. There we go. Over 1,000. Very nice. Very nice in Indeed. So we are just trucking along. We got plenty of vegetables. Got a lot of fine meals. No, or excuse me, a lot of simple meals. No fine meals. So let's just go ahead and order up that fine meal. They built the fish tank. 
So we can go ahead and also order up a couple, another fish tank here. Oops, I keep going down screen instead of, all right, we'll put that fish tank there and then let's put our kitchen, our new kitchen, right there. Perfect. All right, so we got plenty of space to get a lot of fish and continue cooking our meals in our new kitchen. They also keep flashing the gun above their head, so they're interested in the guard. So let's actually, uh, I know I got distracted. Let's go back to Pickle and Pickaxe and request workers and see what they say. I'm going to give it to you straight. Probably not for us. All right, end communication. Uh, let's try the initiative. Can we request some workers from the initiative? Nah, man, that's not cool. Okay. Um, I guess we'll try... Vass as well. I cannot foresee a good result. I must decline. We could send them a tribute. I don't want to do that yet because uh, I'd like to save some of our money. I mean, our, our rank is going up slowly, so that's good. All right, Hacks, I'll get in there and finish the, the kitchen and the other fish tank for us. All right, so we got to hook that up to power, and I'm guessing this is going to need to be hooked up as well. So let's go ahead and hook up power there. And then does it need water? Yep, we'll hook it up to water. And then we'll put water there and power there as well. So we can get those to set up and ready to go. Building our other bedroom up here. We can also put in the next door. There it is. And we'll rotate that into place. Very nice. Very nice indeed. If you guys are liking these Meeple Station videos, please like the video, comment if you want me to keep making Meeple Station videos, or if there's another game you're interested in trying. Also looking for feedback, both on audio quality, video quality, just, you know, overall feedback since the station is still new, or excuse me, station and channel is still new. Always looking for some good feedback, whether it be negative, whether it be positive. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel so you're getting all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Got another ship rolling up here to trade. It's the Lukov Initiative. And what do they have? We'll sell them some biomass here. It's pretty cheap right now, but we got a lot of it. So let's get rid of some of it. And we'll keep 10. Uh, let's see. We got, okay, our fish is rolling in now. 32 fish, 21 vegetables. But that might be from the fact that our kitchen's not hooked up. Uh, what else? We can sell some graphene again. Sell that all down. All right, perfect. So he, what is Hexall saying? He can't, oh, we'll have to put the the orders right there. So let's go ahead and go to utilities. We can't build it here because he can't reach it. So we'll put it power here and we'll put water here once he builds that power spot. All right, perfect. And then power, he needs to put power there. All right, so the kitchen and the other fish tank are about to be hooked up. Let's go go to utilities and we will cancel this because he will keep doing that um, cancel whatever we have there and that needs to be hooked up to waste now so we are almost there in a waste pipe right there and that should finish it and get that other fish tank up and running for us alrighty Everything's looking good. We got this other room built out. So let's go ahead and put the bed and a plant in there. A nice bed. And then a plant to give it a little extra something something. Make it a little nice. We've gone from meager to modest in most of our rooms. So the, the rooms are giving our meeples a pretty good bonus. You know, they got nice quarters. Eventually, we might start tearing down some of these beds and building glass beds. Or there's even wooden beds eventually that have a, a royalty bonus. So let's check in on our fish. So we've still got 30 fish and 15 vegetables and they're gonna start cranking out meals for us. So we should be pretty good on the food front. Research is going along swimmingly for laboratory level two. We might get another scientist. I know Halibut's been doing a very good job, but we wanna make sure we're chugging along nicely. What's Toothbud? He could do a little science if we wanted him to. Loophole is set as our doctor right now. We're going to change Loophole over to an officer for a little bit since no one's injured. 
And let's just, uh, let's see what he does. I think he just goes around and interacts with people and gives them a bonus. Signed to officer role, eight fine meal, use public dining. Oh, he does not like public dining. Interesting. So we might have to take him off officer if that continues to be an issue. Another pickle and pickaxe ship rolling up. And we are doing great on money. Let's go ahead and sell some more biomass. We'll sell seven biomass. Just keep, oops, excuse me, we'll keep that at 10 biomass. There we go. And fish. The fish is worth a lot right now. So let's go ahead and sell some fish since we got plenty of it. Get a little more money in our pockets. There we go. And graphene is just always so good on the market. So I always just like selling whatever we got. There we go, 1334. And we're just chugging along nicely here. So let's uh, let's go back to Loophole, enjoy the meal, use public dining. So I think eventually what we'll have to do is get this clearance level so we could do like officer's mess or an officer's dining room. But that will be uh, later on. Let's check our storage here. Let's see, we have... I think plenty of room still. Yeah, we got over a thousand room for our stuff to be stored. We could put another, what we should do is go ahead and start expanding this out. So when we get our full science or the advanced science bench, we'll be able to build that. So let's go ahead and do this and then we'll do a three by three here to start. And we will use that for the science bench when we when we get there. I think we still have two open bedrooms, right? One, two. Yeah, we got two open bedrooms here. So we will keep an eye on that as well. Overall, everything's going good. Liking the game so far. I know people kind of compare it to RimWorld. Not exactly right RimWorld, but it, it's the same idea, right? You know, we're building a base, building a colony, and just trying to survive. Not as in-depth as RimWorld, definitely not as in-depth, but it's still a good little game, especially if you're interested in space. Definitely recommend checking it out if you got the time, and uh, probably pick it up on sale if you can. Don't need to do a, you know, buy it at the full price if you're just looking for a quick little bang for your buck, something to waste a little bit of time on. It's like we're getting rid of some of the asteroid over there, keeping mining, so that's good. Here comes another ship. I think this is Pickle and Pickaxe. I could be wrong. Could be wrong indeed. Let's see who it is. I am wrong. It's the initiative. So let's sell them some more biomass. And then let's go ahead and buy, we're running low on ice, carbon. We'll buy a little bit of ice off them get 70 ice because it's pretty cheap too all right 70 ice and carbon will buy all their carbon and then what else could we sell them um man we got a lot of silicone we should probably start making our own glass let's go ahead and sell them some fish because that's pretty expensive We'll go down to 25 on our end, very nice. And then let's go to refining and see what we need to make glass. Where is glass at? Here we go, glass needs silicone. We have plenty of it. So let's go ahead and set our minimum for 30. And then we'll make sure we always have 30 in our inventory. Now diamonds, how do we make diamonds? 10 carbon. Well, let's um, let's start keeping five diamonds around. We're gonna set that as our minimum, just so we have a a little bit in case we need it as we progress. All right, our station is pretty good. We are hanging in there. I think the next thing is probably to get a security guard. Um, so let's look at. I think is it vacuum? Yeah, vacuum was the guard that was sent up to us. But he's currently set as our chef. Does Loophole have any chef skill? Nope. Clef has, he's got five chef. Um, does Loophole have botany? He does not. 
All right, I think we'll just leave loophole unless we can switch two. See, we could switch. We could do a lot of switching, but I think we just leave it the way it is and not mess with it. Who's sleeping on the ground here? I don't know why uh, Spare Rib's sleeping on the ground. He's certainly got his own bedroom up here if he wanted to, to sleep. Maybe it's just too far over here. Maybe six is too long. Maybe we keep it at four. Maybe we do that on these next ones is just keep it at four. Loophole is just wandering around his room. Apparently he's got nothing better to do as an officer. All right. Well, so in this episode, we did a little bit of research. We uh, expanded our bedrooms, got a lot of the, the boring stuff done, got some storage set up. We're certainly setting ourselves up for a successful future. Like I said, don't forget to like the video, comment, whether you want me to keep making Meeple Station videos, or if there's another video, if you, or video game you want me to play, or you know, just general feedback on this channel in general. Uh, you know, voice quality, audio quality, picture quality, anything like that, video length, anything to help me uh, grow and expand the channel would be much appreciated. And then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you're getting this great content on time and in orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by Tooth and Scrubs Gaming, and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station video.